so now in this video we will start working right on the methods okay the first one that we will work on is the okay show image dialog and if you guys remember we have already created that method right in the credential for sign of okay so we're gonna simply go there and copy that whole code for this method okay and we will paste it right in here in the home screen so first right on home screen dot dot let's go right in here above the widget build okay in here we will create that method now in here as you guys can see that sign up open that components folder open that and in here open that info dot dot okay the credentials so in here we will simply as you guys can see that show image dialog okay that method simply wrap it and copy that whole method okay copy it control C and then we will simply go back to the home screen dot dot as you guys can see right in here okay home screen dot dot in here above the widget build we will paste it okay as you guys can see in here expand it right in the home screen okay so in here we're gonna need the method for camera as you guys can see here get from camera also we're gonna need the method for get from gallery okay as you guys can see so simply we will go back to the info dot dot right in the sign up then components and then that info dot dot okay it's right in here so in here we will simply copy that method the camera one and also the gallery one okay and also with that we will also copy that method crop image okay because that method right in here we use that right in the gallery one for cropping the image and also in the camera one okay so let's go and do that select it from here to here okay let me show you one more time from here to here just simply copy it control C and now we will go back to the home screen dot dot as you guys can see in here and above this widget build okay in here paste it okay in here we will import the library for the axe file image picker dot dot as you guys can see the error has been gone so now right in here we will create that image file okay so let's go and do that right at top in here above this show image dialog method okay in here we will save file okay and then the name what was the name let me see image file so in here we will say image file okay let's import the library dot io okay and basically that file it's a reference to a file on the file system as you guys can see in here that file basically holds a path on which operation can be performed okay for the image file which will contain the image of our current user so in here let me see that as you guys can see the error has been gone and I have already explained this methods like this one show image dialog and also the camera one the gallery one and the crop image right in the credential for the sign up okay there is no need to expand that again okay so simply now we will close that and also this sign up close it and now we are in the home screen dot dot okay now simply copy that name from here and we will go down and call upon that function okay 
right in here as you guys can see okay move that and call upon that right in here okay so all the working of this method is done and guys let me show you one more thing in here as you guys can see click on this run man dot dot I mean whenever I click on this run man dot dot it simply log out the current user from the app okay so I want that if the user is already logged in so I don't want him to be log out okay and if he's already log out he will be log out then so for that let me show you one more time in here click on this run man dot dot and you will notice that current user will be log out as you guys can see we didn't even log out that user but when I run the app again it's automatically log out the user so we don't want that if the user is already logged in I want him to be logged in not log out so for that we will simply go to the man dot dot and let me show you right in here as you guys can see okay right in the home we call upon the login screen that's why when we run the app there is a login screen okay as you guys can see on the emulator so we don't want that we will simply remove that and in here we will simply say first let me create an instance for that current user okay from firebase auth so in here we will say firebase auth dot instance for that current user who is logged in okay and we're gonna check if it's equal to no okay it simply means that if he's not logged in then we want him on the login screen okay so in here we will say login screen okay and else we will simply want him on the home screen if he is already logged in okay as I told you before so it simply means that if the current user is not logged in then we want him to be on the login screen right in here as you guys can see okay and if he's already logged in then in else as you guys can see we want that user on the home screen okay and guys if you notice that I was already logged in by my account share okay so now let me show you that now if I click on this run man dot dot it will simply return the current user by name share to the home screen because he was already logged in so he will be on the home screen okay so let me do that right in here in here run man dot dot and you guys will notice as you guys can see we are now on the home screen I didn't even enter the email and also the password because the user by name share he was already logged in so that's why he is on the home screen so that's fine right in here now we will close that man dot dot and right in here now all the working of this method was done as I told you before now we will check that okay so come here and click on this camera button okay and there we go as you guys can see the text camera gallery let me show you that right in the method in here please choose an option there we go and also there is a camera and there is a gallery one okay with the icons icon camera and icon image okay with the right color so in here let's go and check that if it's work or not that camera and gallery one as you guys can see it's working fine capture the image and also check the cropping system there we go it's working totally fine okay so for now it's working totally fine and one more thing guys if I click on this tick it will not upload the image okay because we didn't create the upload image method let me show you that right in here as you guys can see we didn't create that yet okay so it will not upload the image or you can say 
store it to the Firebase okay so whenever we complete that method then it will work fine and it will upload and save the image to the Firebase storage okay and also we will store the data for that current user right in the Firebase Firestore database okay so for now it's working totally fine okay so right in the next video first we will create that method upload image it will simply get the image and the detail of uh, that current user and store it right in the firebase the image will be in the firebase storage and the data will be right in the firebase firestore database okay so first we will do that to the firebase and right after we will retrieve that data from the firebase and we will show it right here on the home screen okay we will retrieve it later so that's it for this video and guys let me tell you one more thing click in here on this button and let's check it also with the gallery one okay if it's work or not as you guys can see it's working totally fine okay and cropping system also for the gallery one so it's working totally fine right in the next video we will work right on the upload image